Google Ads Structured Snippet Extensions are a really powerful way to add additional information to your ads, which will ultimately increase your click-through rate and therefore increase the performance of your campaigns. So let's talk about structured snippets, what they are, how to set them up, and why you would want to use them in the first place. So first of all, let's take a look at an example. Now if we do a search, just something random, auto detailing Phoenix, Arizona, this first ad here does not have structured snippets or call out extensions, which both look pretty similar. Neither does this one. You can see in the description, it's just this real brief, simple, short description, right? But if we come down here to some of these longer form ads, there's two descriptions, right? Two descriptions. And then you have these extension text bits after here, right? These are where you're uh, structured snippet extensions are going to show up and the way to think of it is you kind of use it to feature um, different categories of things that you're offering so if we take a look if we come over to the structured snippets um, if we go to add a new one so if you're in your campaign and you go to um, ads and extensions and then click on extensions uh, you might have to switch from summary view to table view but you should be able to click here and add a new structured snippet extension. And when you do that, um, you can add it at the campaign or ad group level or at the account level. Uh, typically, I like to stick to campaign or ad group level because that gives you more control. But basically what that means is whichever you select, so let's say we choose the campaign level, whatever ad groups are in this campaign, are going to end up using this structured snippet. So if you only want the structured snippet to be on one ad group because it has a unique ad that you're advertising something unique, um, then you do it on the ad group level. Okay. So we're just going to leave it as the standard campaign level. Um, we're going to create new. You can choose the language. And then for the header, you need to select what the structured snippet category is. So like amenities would be good for hotels. You can see it's already suggesting like Wi-Fi, pool, fitness center. So you can think of it like you have a headline, a description, and then you're going to have this little bit at the end that's like amenities. We have Wi-Fi, pool, fitness center, uh, you know, sauna, all this other awesome stuff that you have that people might be interested in is going to show up at the end under a little category like amenities. So uh, brands is another one if you sell like Nexus watch or Chrome or uh, Nexus uh, tablet or Chromebook, um, courses, degree programs. The ones that I find get used a lot are service catalog. So any service based business will use this. So like, you know, we do oil change, smog check, tire alignment. Um, so for auto detailing, it would be like ceramic coating, paint correction, interior, exterior, full detail. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of the service catalog. And then types is another one that you is really broad. So like, you know, we sell T-shirts, mugs, bags, like just the types of products that you sell or the types of services you sell it tends to be um, types and uh, service catalog here. So figure out which one fits best and then just go through and fill these out. You can click here to add more. The more you add, the better off you're going to be. What it's going to do basically is test a bunch of these. It's not going to use all of them at once and make your ad like super long, um, but it's going to rotate and randomly split test these and figure out what's getting you the best results, right? So fill all these out, click save. Once you've done that, then you're going to have um, you're going to be able to have your structured snippet extensions show up at the end of your ads here. Now, when that starts happening, you're going to start getting some analytics data like this, and I think it's important for you to understand what this data means because it can be a little bit deceiving if you're not really familiar with what's going on here. So, when you're looking at the analytics data for a structured snippet, what this data is telling us basically is what's happening when the structured snippet uh, is on the ad, right? So 
basically what this means is the structured snippet showed up on the ad 12 times. Of those 12 times that the structured snippet showed up in the ad, the ad received one click for a click-through rate of 8%, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody clicked on the service catalog. So it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody actually clicked on the service catalog because you, you can't actually click on the service catalog. Um, you have to click on something up here or one of these links or something in blue, basically, right? So the service catalog is not even going to be, or the structured snippets are not even going to be clickable anyways which definitely confuses people because you see one click and you're like, oh, awesome, somebody clicked on, but which one did they click on? And it just gets confusing. So just so you're aware, basically all this means is when this structured snippet is showing up on the ad, this is what's happening. So it showed up 12 times, got one click, 8% click-through rate. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you had questions about in terms of structured snippets, how to set them up, best practices, anything like that, um, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions down in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you